Welcome to the first webisode of Greased and Breast. I don't really sound like that. Today, we'll be going over topics such as the Philip K. Dick robot. You mean the Dick robot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that bears explaining. Would you like to explain or shall I? Um, I don't know. I feel like you could do a better, uh, a better job. Okay. Um... We were writing down notes about what we should talk about, and we saw this thing on Nova about what the next big thing is. Um, and there was a robot after, modeled after Philip K. Dick. So when he starts writing it down, he writes down the word dick, and then backtracks <laughs> to write before the word dick at the edge of the page, Philip K., and then continues to write on robot. And I told him, I knew that's what you were going to do. So apparently, we were going to turn this into a gay webisode. <laughs> Of <laughs> sci fi natures. Oh, God. <laughs> Just the thing our viewers would love. <laughs> like, we don't have viewers yet. True. Okay, so You're right. we, we don't know if they would love it or not. You're right. We'll, we'll see after after this gets uploaded. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyways, also on the agenda will be the age long Big Bang versus String Theory fight. Uh, we also have some discussion of Magic the Gathering, particularly some type of complex rule. And, uh... By the way, I wanted to tell you you were wrong about that ruling on Parallax Nexus, but mo moving we'll, on... We'll go into that later. later yes. um, and we'll probably finish up <clears throat> with some uh, retail mumbo-jumbo. I'm, I'm not so sure I want to do the jumbo portion of that. The mumbo sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. So... All right. Um, would you like to lead off with Dick? I mean, with the K Dick robot. All right. So on Nova, we saw this very interesting special. By the way, to all the viewers who can hear the ambient sound, yes, there is a cat in heat. Ignore it. It's not pertinent to what we're talking about. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> we were watching a special on Nova about. A robot modeled after Philip K. Dick. He is a, a. I don't know what you would call it. He's a. I guess a type of artificial intelligence. He learns from his environment and from the web and from interactions with other people. It's pretty interesting. Uh, also very creepy. Very, very creepy. Uh, and, and kind of, uh, we should be worried, possibly. Yes, especially because of. The last comment the robot made. Uh, in the closing of that segment, uh, when the guy posed the question, so what do you think about people thinking you might become the Terminator? He suddenly apparently uh, grabbed a lot of stuff from the Godfather and, and uh, things like that. He said, well, I, I always remember my friends. So even if I do evolve into the Terminator, I will always remember my friends, and I'll keep you in my people zoo and watch over you for all time. Yeah, pretty creepy, that whole people zoo part. Yeah. Really. I mean, it sounded sweet, actually, at the beginning, but then that people zoo part just made it into... I don't even know. That's Especially the, the, evolving whole, the, the whole dick robot part. Evolving into the Terminator, I think that was. He's already planning ahead for it. That's actually what worries me. Yes. He's, he's actually contemplating the possibility. Like, okay, if I do become a Terminator, I'll, I'll keep you. Hmm. But then he's a robot, so he has to think logically. I won't have enough resources to do things efficiently, so I'm not going to be able to keep you, 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 and especially you, old man. I don't know why I have a thing against old men as a robot, but I do. Exactly. No, 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 it's your turn. <laughs> hey, we're not taking turns here, Priest. I have an... <clears throat> Actually, I have a question for you. Um, okay. When the man was making the... the uh, mold for the... the face of the robot mm -hmm. in those clips, that, uh, that silicone dripping from the stick... You really good. You really trying to push the dick robot angle, aren't you? What did you think about that? Then? What did it bring to mind? 
It brought confusing thoughts, Chris. Confusing, confusing thoughts. thoughts. Okay, I really you shouldn't didn't want to on the couch next to me, right? No, I didn't want to feel alone <laughs> in my confusion. That's all. That's oh, okay. all. Don't worry. But okay, so anyways, we we <clears throat> a little bit of background on us. We're coworkers. Um, we were old for, as fuck. He's old as fuck, <laughs> and apparently I'm. I make him feel like that. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, we're not that far apart in age. I think he's just got a lot of insecurities. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what he's talking about. I'm just messing with you. Um, but anyways, uh, we're at his house right now. There's. I actually can't count the amount of cats here. I blame my fiance for that one. Leave me out of this. She says, "Leave me out of this." If you couldn't hear. Isn't that what they all say? Yeah, especially after you've been together for a while. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> um, especially with not with her in earshot. But anyways, um, yeah, we're you know just some. Young hunks young young in you know. our 20s. We should probably let it with this instead of just, you know, do, doing the introduction oh, right. after like five minutes of talking about random stuff. Should have explained how we're geeks and dorks and really messed up individuals, although intelligent, which apparently also makes us messed up individuals uh, from the get go. Yeah, I mean, well, I think it's just. At least in the in the U.S., people don't value intelligence. And just to further his uh, little train of thought, there. Really? really? That's that's what you're gonna do? Check that out. How much was the wall scroll, hun? Twenty dollars. It was twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for that. That's good. That's a good use of twenty bucks. You know. Yeah. Not for gas. Yes. <laughs> not for gas. Yeah. Pointless. It was my Thanksgiving <clears throat> present to myself. Because as we know, <laughs> Thanksgiving is when we exchange gifts. Yes. And then buy it for ourselves. I heard that's what the Indian is. Mm -hmm. Apparently, uh, not to sound racist, that's what the Indian giver thing is about. It's they didn't actually take it back; they just gave it to themselves in the first place. Put put uh, your name on the card so you'd feel validated. Yeah. That is strange. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> you, you are aware of that fucking movie, right? I should stop with the cursing, right? No, no, no. no. Okay. I just right. don't want to. Want to what? Seems so. And yet he calls me subhuman and a <laughs> robot at work. <laughs> hey, you break that. You break that job down to a, to a science. I mean, no, no, no. See, the Big Bang and string theory thing, that's breaking stuff down into science. What I do is I practice a series of repetitious actions, so that way if I'm tired, I can go to sleep and still do my job and make it seem like I'm awake. That's true. That's good. I see. See well, how I said we both do our job and the Big Bang string theory thing, too. That, that, that's something you should do. But st <laughs> Standing next to you all day, <laughs> while you say the same thing over and over and over, I just gotta say, drives me up the wall sometimes. But it isn't just the same thing. I have a variant that There's actually There's a variant, goes, sure. Yes, yes. But which actually consists of a lot of phrases and subtle I'm, alterations I know them all based by on heart. <laughs> I, you actually don't. The worst. Okay. I just still don't understand why. I heard you once tell a customer that you were doing enigmatically. Because you suggested <laughs> I was fucking with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know that it was for me and not not the actual customer. That's pretty funny. Um, anyways, we always get into this. Well, we used to always get into this thing while working. Where I would just quickly run up and whisper string theory in the priest's ear. Which, to which he would 
which again reminds me, why am I on the same couch with him? That there's some issues <laughs> that we probably should have worked out. Before. Probably like having cages around us or something, or glass wall in between. Yeah, separate mics. At least, at least you know my fiance in the middle because all all things considered, I don't think he's gonna do anything with her. Yeah. You're right. Um, anyways, please. <laughs> Take that how you will. Let it run in your imagination and what figure it out later. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyways. And I would uh, constantly talk about the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> there was a lot of confusion because I was talking about a TV show and he thought I was talking about science. So I was, unfortunately... Uh, pulled into talking about science, which I do like, but not I'm not trying to talk about it. His uh, his mom actually did oh part God. of finished part of a program in uh, what was it? Biochemistry. Bi biochemistry. He didn't know this for many years. Nobody in my family knew. No this. one knew. Man, that's weird. My brother just turned forty, so for roughly thirty nine. You know what? I I'm, I'm actually gonna. Give it a few years cut off from the point that my brother turned five. So for about 34 years, my mother never mentioned to anybody that she was actually two and a half years into the program to become a biochemist. And she also, as part of the program, um, studied what is essentially quantum mechanics, quantum physics. That is pretty cool, I gotta say. So I have two things <laughs> about this that uh, bother the hell out of me. What oh, would that be, Priest? Sorry, I felt like I should say that. Yeah, <laughs> I probably should have, just to make it make sense somehow. Um, she is a lady who not only forgets that her glasses are on her head, <clears throat> she has done that, found the glasses, and go, oh, there they are, put it back on her head, and within five seconds, where did I put my glasses? And she didn't think it was pertinent to say anything about her studies for 34 years. Man, that is... I don't know what you call that. I was about to say stoic, but... Yeah. I don't know if your mom... I don't think that qualifies as stoic. Yeah, not at all. What about the time she said, where's my cell phone while she was on the phone talking to you? Oh, God. <laughs> she really did that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I blocked that out of my account. <laughs> By the way, that's the color commentator, my fiance, Catherine. Um, unless she wants to be seen, you won't see her, but you'll hear her probably insulting my mother. Because it's going to be her mother-in-law, so she's already starting the old stereotype. I love your mother. Hey. <laughs> You should see what she's doing and how she's gesturing. I, I, I just should leave it at that. <laughs> uh, any, anyways, uh, so back to the science talk. I, I, I wanted to uh, say I was just reminded randomly. Um, you told me once that a young Chinese girl came into the store uh, around the age of 10, give or take a couple years. And she had like full, she basically had full understanding of Big Bang Theory. Because you and I were talking about it while we're, while I was ringing her up. And she, she completely understood everything we were talking about. I just kind of felt bad initially because I was talking with him about it. The, and, I said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, we were just talking about... And then she kind of came out and started talking about some of the concepts about uh, the, the universe ever expanding and how there might be a resurgence to, to a point of singularity at a certain point once it starts to uh, coalesce upon itself, converge back to the point of the Big Bang. Um, Word. I may be translucent, but you should never say that. <laughs> Um, is 
Keep is talking. That, is that the motion you're making when you shamed yourself? <laughs> yes.